Good morning, everyone. Can we hear okay? All right, great. We're ready to kick off this morning. We know some of you are still going through registration and kick off. Please get your coffee and get energized for our Ag Tech Week. We are thrilled to have you here. I'm Laura Appenzeller. I am the Executive Director of the University of Illinois Research Park. So welcome to our research park this week and today. And I'm also the Assistant Vice Chancellor for Innovation in the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation. We are very excited to be hosting the 2023 Ag Tech Summit, as big as ever, with about 600 registered participants. It'll be a full day, and we have many welcomed guests here. I'll say that there is a combination, as you'll maybe see, of many large global corporations that are here today. We have startup companies in our midst. We have researchers and faculty. We have students, and we have elected officials in the house. I can even see in the back of the room. So thank you to all of our um, folks that are here. Our mayors are here. They're going to be welcoming you shortly uh, uh, to our community of Urbana-Champaign. I'll say maybe because we're here at the University of Illinois today. Uh, we'll start with Urbana. It's great to see all of you excited about ag innovation, and we are really grateful to our sponsors. So I just wanted to say a big shout out to John Deere, World Business Chicago, Bayer, Corteva, Cargill, Kin and Carta, Sikich, and GDM Seeds for making this event possible as a free event that so many people enjoy coming to year after year. I'd also like to thank our organizing team that has worked tirelessly to make this event possible. So thank you to Laura and Desiree, to Kim, to Carly, to Kathy, to Pedro, and others that worked as a, a group effort truly to put on this event. So we're here in Illinois, and if you look around you, if you drove to town, you know that there's farmland all around our community. And if you're here at the University of Illinois, it's certainly something that we're used to seeing all the time. But it's also an incredible point of pride, I think, for the state of Illinois, and appropriate to have a tech discussion in a place where ag is really central to our economy. Illinois is a leading producer of soybeans, of corn, and of swine. Illinois has 72,000 farms covering nearly 27 million acres across the state and generates more ag commodities, uh, totaling about $19 billion annually. We're one of the top states for both corn and soybean production. And right here in central Illinois, I think it's important to talk about that we have the top five nation's leading counties for corn production, including McLean, Iroquois, Livingston, uh, LaSalle, and our own Champaign County. The state's economy includes many ag-related industries, and I'm sorry, I'm not doing a good job of keeping up with my own of what I meant to say. So yes, we're home, as you can see by that map, of a lot of corn and soybeans across uh, the US. The heartland is really right here. But we're also a place that's good at food production and bio-based product production. Our own Kraft Heinz plant here in Champaign is one of the top food producers in North America. And it is one of many of the food manufacturing facilities throughout Illinois. The state of Illinois is home to 2,600 140 food manufacturing companies, and it turns our state's crops and livestock into food and industrial products that truly feed the world. Here at the University of Illinois, we are known for many things, but as a land-grant institution, we've long been known for agriculture and modernization of agriculture that goes back to our founding in 1867 as a land-grant institution. We're known for engineering and computing, and those two things have converged to really create the tech environment that we're uh, celebrating today in ag digital transformation. We are a place of global agriculture companies that have co-located with us, of researchers that are doing preeminent work around the world, of startup companies, and of students, of course, that drive our university. 56,000 students strong this year. We are one of the largest public universities in the country, and we are a leader in some research areas I'll share with you today. And we are here at a time when it's important to think of the global challenges that we face. Agriculture is so important, not only because we all need to eat, but because it is a future for us to become less fossil fuel dependent and to address the challenges that we all face of needing to feed our planet as we continue to grow our population across the globe and our area for land perhaps shrinks, our rural population to produce those goods in some cases, global conflicts that are stressing our 
production. Nonetheless, all of you are making it possible for our increased production. And we're doing that through the ability to really think about new opportunities that we'll be highlighting today to hopefully double our crop production by 2050. While the world moves to fossil fuel materials, substituting carbon intensive products like plastics and concrete and steel and textiles with lower carbon alternatives, many of those are bio-based inputs that are produced from the goods that we create here in the Midwest. The challenge is meeting the growing demand for food, feed, and materials while also reducing our environmental damages and addressing the threat of climate change. Producers are embracing new technology and digital technologies to increase both farm income, promote environmental stewardship, and increase their own production. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of our growers and producers that joined us today. Without you, ag innovation doesn't actually occur. And so thank you for being part of the conversations and joining us, not just in a theoretical, but in a very practical way today. I've mentioned some of the ways that we are leading for the University of Illinois. And here are some specific wins that we've had that make us even more competitive. The National Science Foundation funded AI farms at the University of Illinois. This is the Artificial Intelligence for Future Agricultural Resilience Management and Sustainability Institute. And it puts an emphasis on te technologies that uh, increase production practices, but also supply a more diverse, technical, skilled workforce for a future of digital ag, supporting in women and minority farmers, and also areas such as autonomous far farming, efficiency in livestock, um, digital computation, of livestock facilities, environmental resilience, and other areas of tech adoption. We're also growing an on-farm experience. And as I said, farms are all around us, but this will be a truly special farm with $3.9 million awarded from the, the USDA. This 80-acre farm of the future will have both commodity crops and livestock farmed using sustainable practices. And it's a test bed for really thinking about areas of precision farming, remote sensing, under canopy autonomous robots like our own EarthSense from here in the research park, mechanical weeding, and AI-enabled remote sensing for animal health prediction and nutrient quantification. And working for more than a decade, the team at RIPE, as we know them, that stands for Realizing Increased Photosynthetic Efficiency, they have been able to make groundbreaking science. And you can see in science, they were published just this last year in 2022. And those results were published all around the world and in many uh, mainstream media as well because of the accomplishments. They've been working to increase photosynthesis effectiveness in growing nations and to be able to support world populations. But they also showed its efficacy in soybeans of increasing production yields by more than 20% without impacting quality of the seeds. This was heralded, as I'd said, around the world. And its work happened largely here on the campus, not only in the farm areas that we have of the farm of the future, but we also have a groundbreaking greenhouse that's doing um, ph advanced phenotyping with robotics, and we have a plant transformation facility that you see pictured here. Another center includes SCAPES. This was funded also by the USDA. For $10 million, we are able to create agrovoltaic systems and fields, and both crops and solar panels are uh, simultaneously working together to create and maintain crop production, but also produce renewable energy and increase our farm pro profitability. At the University of Illinois, we celebrated this past year the IBM Illinois Discovery Accelerator Institute, which is a new $200 million partnership led with IBM and U of I in areas such as AI and human intelligence, quantum computing, carbon capture for the sustainability of computing technologies, and AI-driven discovery of new materials. And just one more to point out to you is CABI. The center has more than $100 million in funding through the, through the Department of Energy and is working on new bioenergy crops and transforming biomass into valuable chemicals that produce new bioproducts. And they are building a new state-of-the-art greenhouse as well in the research park. So speaking of the research park, we're 120 companies strong. It's about 200 acres. For any of those of you that went on the tour, you know it's a large area, and we continue to grow. And we have many fantastic companies that are located here. And many of them made investments last year to further their presence. So I'll highlight some of them, and you'll hear in their own world, words today what they're doing. The John Deere Technology Innovation Center works on soil science and data science. And in summer 2022, they expanded their footprint 
footprint for a fourth time to serve their large scale equipment. It's an 8,000 square foot garage that they added. And I think it's uh, valuable to say that they were working on equipment like the John Deere uh, 8R tractor and the exact Emerge planter in the hundreds of test uh, acres that we have here at the University of Illinois. And their leader, Mark Moran, said uh, of this place, part of the secret to my team is our ability to design in our Champaign office, build in our garage, and validate in our two-acre test plot. All within a quarter mile, we can begin our testing using our equipment on university land and create a true partnership. In March of 2020, right before the pandemic, we opened a global headquarters for Genective, a company that's a joint venture of Lee McGrain and KWS. But last fall, we got the opportunity to expand those operations, which include both lab facilities, offices, and their field stations in Weldon, Illinois, not far from here, where they're continuing to improve plant production in areas such as genetics and entomology, and working on transgenic traits that can uh, help with the resiliency of corn. ADM also celebrated an expansion. This was a large expansion for ADM and includes the new Science and Technology Center at the Research Park with expanded areas beyond the financial modeling and chemical engineering work they've done here for a long time. It has been an important expansion for us because it includes areas that are important like nutrition research and wet chemistry, sensory science, data science, computational fluid dynamics, and customer interactions. So thank you to Jose and April who worked tirelessly to plan that expansion and create a beautiful office I hope you have a chance to see sometime. We have attracted many new startup companies into the research park and grown many of them here at the University of Illinois. And I hope you'll meet many of them. We'll have a showcase here after the event where you'll hopefully um, make introductions to them. I'm sure they'd love your input. That's powered partially by the assistance of the Illinois Ag Tech Accelerator, um, which Sarah Ventures and Generator make possible amongst other sponsors. And um, I'd also like to welcome our Great Lakes i teams that were learning here about customer discovery and their value proposition yesterday while at Enterprise Works Incubator, and they'll be working with many of you today as well. This last week, we formally announced Illini Angels, a new angel investment group that truly has Illini investing in Illini with more than, more than 40 angels already signed up. Kickoff meeting later this month. If you're interested in getting involved, please let us know, and that's led by Illinois Ventures here in Champaign and in Chicago. And last but not least, an important transition for us is that Agco Acceleration Center also expanded last year. In fact, it's more than triple the size of its original footprint that was started by the protein division and now includes many of their global brands working on technology areas such as virtual and augmented reality. But I'm closing on this company expansion because we have an important announcement to make. And that will be my transition to President Pam Lau from Parkland College, an incredibly important partner to us, not just a university here in our community, but one of the top ag community colleges. And Dr. Lau is going to tell you about an exciting announcement in their industry partnership with AGCO. Thanks, Pam.